Joining us live via phone, and who knows where this guy is at, Pete, because he's the only guy I know that's busier than me, and that's that's the truth. He's probably pre-fishing the lake tomorrow. He might be pre-fishing. I don't know. He might be. Uh, joining us on the phone right now, recent winner of the Grand Lake Tournament, happened to be, Pete, number 25. The that one it? Number 20. That's that it. it. Number 25. The one and only uh, Kevin Van Dam joins us on i Kevin! KBD, KBD. Hey, guys. What's up? Boy. How you doing? Pretty, pretty, pretty tame for this time of night and, you know, on a show that long. Usually you're a few more beers in, it sounds like. I know. Well, the, you know, here's the deal. I've had, I, and I'm just going to admit it. I admitted it earlier in the show. I'm going to admit it again. I've had a few bad tournaments recently. I've had some... 70s and 80th place finishes in the last two or three events and we went from really good hard liquor and good beer to really cheap light beer in a can and it's all my fault i'm just gonna admit it yeah uh, i um after the classic and uh, the first time of the year i i was ready to quit drinking i can tell you that <laughs> Never. this is going to be a little bit repetitive but I just I have to ask it. I have to ask it. Um, number twenty five. That that seems to to me that number when you, when you say it is it's just a big number. It's hard to it's hard to even just think about it as far as you know winning because I know you, you know we all know how hard it is to actually win. Um, did d- does that number does does it freak you out or did winning number twenty five? change something in your mind or or is it just you're as good as your last event and you got to just keep going that's that's kind of it i mean i don't i've never competed for the numbers or thought anything about it and um and I, you know at, before um i didn't really think about it it was it was kind of later that night after i finished that it kind of hit me like man that's a that's a um significant uh, not that 24 is not or I mean that because because any win is a big deal as you yeah. know yeah and um, it um, but I mean now I'm thinking about 26 you know what I mean but yeah. it's not not because it's 26 but just because that's you know when you fish to to win you you that's what that's what I don't know that's what motivates me it, to the point now where it's detrimental um Right, you know, to my overall performance, and that it drives Sherry crazy because I, I just, I, I probably take too big a risk now, and and uh, and I'm, I'm okay with, with shooting for the, <laughs> shooting for the stars. Yeah, and I, I never, uh, um, the benches that I've had the last the last few years to ha- you know have them, and part of that is the, obviously the competition level is is pretty incredible now. I mean. Um, you know, top to bottom, the elite series is a really strong group of of uh, competitors. But but it's still a well, part of it is is my thought processes and that that I just I'm just not satisfied unless I give myself a shot to be in contention. You know, and yeah. if I'm not, I, I'm not afraid to take long shots anymore. And it's you know, if you want to win Angler of the Year, you you can't fish like that. And, yeah. Uh, but I just I can't change I can't change myself. Yeah. Now, I, I, real quick, Pete, I just wanted to, since you mentioned this new group of competition, the, the, this, this group of young anglers that's so good, uh, I just want to mention, I've, I've heard it many a times in the last year, and I just want to get your thoughts on it, Kevin. Um, I've heard the comment that Jordan Lee is the new Kevin Van Dam. Besides the height difference, <laughs> do you agree with that? <laughs> Um, he's really, uh, I know Jordan really well. Um, I say that only, only because we share, um, you know, some, some, um, uh, sponsors with Quantum and, and Strike King and I get to hang out with him at some media events and things like that. Yeah. And, um, he is a very intuitive angler and I, you know, I, you know, I don't know. I'm a student of the game and I look at, um, you know the best anglers and their perception skills and their ability to adapt and change things like that is is what sets them apart and he has that it factor there's no no doubt about it and uh um you know but in this day and age it's hard to be um it, it it's hard to 
keep up that kind of pace. I mean, I know he keeps as humble as he can be um, for winning two back-to-back classics, but uh, uh, he does have that it factor, in my opinion. You know, but I mean, there's there's quite a few guys. You know, I mean, you look at Aaron Martins is obviously that guy. Um, um, Jacob Wheeler's, you know, up and summer. He's he's a great angler. Um, there's a lot of them out there that that have the skills now. You know, it's Wesley Strader. Look up the kind of role that dude's on. You know, yeah. you see that too, where guys just get in the role and and can carry that momentum. So yeah, well, we found out tonight. I wish I could fall that trap, you know. On on cue myself, you know where you just get in those in those zones. You, yeah, you, you, I mean you know exactly what I'm talking about when you, oh yeah when things are clicking. Yeah, they're clicking, and when they're not, they're not. Yeah, that's true. Well, we found out tonight that Wesley Strader had a bit part in the Beverly Hillbillies. We never knew that until tonight. So <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Now I I I have something, and this is this is big. Uh, Brian Carpenter, man, I don't know if you want to give us a little little. Little news flash or whatever, got, Dave. Do you have that? You want to give us a little news flash sound? Because this is big breaking news that I'm going to go ahead and break right here on Night Live for the what? first time. Yeah, this is huge. This is has not been talked about before, and I'm going to go ahead and be the first one to break it. Give it to us. There it goes. Breaking news. Okay, here it goes. Kevin, I know with live technology on BASS. And at Grand Lake, you were covered live on the second and third and fourth final day. And everybody saw what you were throwing. But new technology is instituted in Bass Live that's been able to mask and disguise the actual bait you threw. (laughs) And I want to admit live and announce live on Ike Live tonight (laughs) for the first time. The actual bait you used to win Grand Lake was... The Demiki rig. It the, was a Demiki. The <laughs> Demiki rig. <laughs> the Demiki rig. Oh God. <laughs> the only tournament that I've ever thrown a Demiki rig in, I paid the price. That was you were got me. <laughs> I want to get your thoughts on something that's I I want to say it's borderline creepy, but I I want to get your opinion on it. When you Google. Your name, Kevin, when you Google it and you do a Google search on Kevin Van Dam, some of the first things that come up are in this order. Kevin Van Dam's net worth. Kevin Van Dam's house. Kevin Van Dam's wife. (laughs) What? Is that just bizarre? Or come on, man. Is it me or is that weird and bizarre? I've never Googled myself. So yeah, that's, that's, it's weird, right? I mean, does that mean, what does that mean? Where's our, our intern? Eric, what does that mean if it's at the top of the Google search? If Kevin Van Dam's well, wife I don't is know what, number I mean, three on, what does that mean? Means people I, I, are creepy. I don't know about that, but your top searches are house, net worth, and wife. My top well. three are too? Yes, they are. <laughs> you have it right here. That's so creepy. <laughs> House and wife are always the top. All right, whose net worth is People higher? Are weird, man. <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> you, you would think it'd be something about crankbaits or yeah, you know, geez. you'd think it'd be your boat. Yeah, nah. yeah, yeah you think it'd be your boat or your rods or techniques nah. or no? It's your wife in your house, dude. And net worth, <laughs> net worth, house yeah. and wife are yeah. the top three. How weird that is, man. Yeah. Gluttonous, goddamn people. Yeah. Dudes are creepy. People are strange, man. <laughs> no doubt. People are strange. I, uh, I, I want to mention, ask you this again real quick. 25, number 25 happened two tournaments ago. Uh, big moment for you. Any change in your in your opinion on retirement after number 25? Hang <laughs> <laughs> up the phone. <laughs> That's awesome. Did that just happen? Is that a yes? <laughs> That's a mic drop. You you went you went one step too far. I, I just wanted to know. We asked Dude, him that last time. You're asking about is is net worth his wife? No, and it's now whether he's going to retire. Hey, that was just, just a simple yeah, that's question. That's the first mic drop ever on Mike Live. Yeah. We had a mic drop. Yeah. Yeah. Click. <laughs> oh, we're we back, Kevin. Did you hang up on us and do a mic drop? 
No, you guys up on me just for effect. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you're good, man. Yeah. <laughs> you're good, Brian. Wait, wait, I got one thing to say. Yeah. Kevin's number he called here came up as Bass Pro Shops. And it came up as Bass Pro Shops. <laughs> I, s- I, I swear to God, it came up as Bass Pro Shops. Uh, we're blocked by Bass Pro Shops. We are. So yeah. I don't know how that works. Uh, Kevin, i got to ask you. I, I think every you've been on Ike Live probably more than any other pro we've ever had on the show. And I think I've asked you probably the last three times. I want to ask you again. Any change in your thought on retirement now that you've won 25? People do. I mean, I go and win the tournament, and I bet I got asked by at least eight or ten different media people, if I, when I'm, what about retirement? I'm like, geez, what, you know, when you go and win, you sure don't feel like you want to retire. God. I think I got a couple good casts left in no, Just I, the rest of I the field is hoping. I love it. You know, and, and as long as I'm having fun, uh, I think I'm going to keep hanging on out there. You know, I got, I got, a, I got a couple more good uh, shots in me. I think. Real quick, Kevin, before we let you go, one last question. We've got a very special guest on the couch here tonight. We've got a, a fellow by the name of John McGraw, who's a good old friend of ours, high school buddy, How you and. Doing, Kevin? Uh, Good, uh, uh, John. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask it for him because John's a little shy. He's always, he's always been a little shy. And during this time that we had the interview, he scribbled this down on a piece of paper, and he just showed a piece of paper to me. and says, "Please, please don't forget about me. Ask Kevin this question." So I'm gonna go ahead and ask it for John McGraw. And John's question to you, even though he's sitting right here, is, Kevin. <laughs> and this in, is this in, is how he wrote that, it too. In, in, that vo- in that voice too. In this Kevin. voice too. Just so you know. Kevin. 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 As a struggling <laughs> angler that has problems catching fish, how do you tell the difference between a snag and a bite? <laughs> and this, Damn. AKA Brian Stockwell's partner. <laughs> like I set the hook on everything. Set yeah. the hook on everything! There you have it, John! There's your answer! Better to be the fool or better, better to be better to appear the fool, fool than to be the fool. To act the fool. That's right. <laughs> or whatever it is. There you <laughs> have it. Something full. Yeah. Full was John, your life has just changed. <laughs> I've always been a fan of Set the hook on every stump you can. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Break it off. <laughs> break, it, break it off. Break it off. Oh, man. Uh, Kevin, thank you for joining us tonight, and congratulations on number 25. What an awesome win. And uh, travel safe tomorrow, and we'll see you next week at Lake Travis. You betcha. Man, looking forward to it. Hopefully it's better than our last run, dude. Yeah, let's let's have a top ten together. I'll, I'll even take a second or a third to you if that works. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. So we got to have a good week, so. Good talking to you guys, man. I appreciate it. Thanks we'll so much. You, Kevin. Congrats Thank you. again. Kevin Van Dam, everybody. <coughs> Woo! KVD.